right, today I'm reviewing the I'm From Mugwort Gel Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. You'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you want to support the channel, check out nobusview.com, try Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so I'm From is a brand I really like. I tend to have good luck with a lot of their stuff. Their honey mask is amazing. Their rice toner is amazing. Their mugwort products seem to be a winner, although I really haven't found one that I found was like a total must-have from them. But when they came out with this and their new sunscreen, I decided I wanted to try them both. So I picked this one up and I've got some thoughts and some kind of conflicting thoughts on this one. So, okay. So they say the latest addition to the I'm From best-selling mugwort line is a gel cleanser that effectively rids the skin of dirt, impurities, and excess sebum while keeping pores clear. The nourishing formula contains 60% gondwa source mugwort extract to keep skin smooth, smooth, soothe, and hydrated dermatology. Dermatologically tested formula is suitable for sensitive skin, which means nothing. Dermatologically tested means absolutely nothing at all. Doesn't mean anything. Where's the results? Did they really do tests? Anyway. Okay, so my first criteria is packaging. No issues with the packaging. I like the packaging. The squeeze tube is awesome. I hate tubs, jars in the shower. I just can't use them very well. So especially like shampoos that come in a jar or conditioners, it's just a mess. But anyway, I like this packaging. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. We get to fragrance. It has a noticeable mugwort smell, which is kind of herbally, which is typically not very off-putting for most people. However, they used mugwort oil for this, which it can be beneficial, the oil. It might have antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, but the oil for it contains potentially irritating compounds such as camphor and methanol. So the oil is like an essential oil. I mean, and a lot of those essential oils that are out there have some benefits to them, but they also have uh, negatives to them, especially for sensitive skin. It's a rinse off product. It's probably not gonna be a huge issue for a lot of people, but uh, camphor and methanol uh, in your skin can be very irritating. So if it were a leave-on product, it'd probably be much more irritating. It's not a leave-on product, thankfully. So still is an irritant though. I mean, it can have benefits, but it also can be irritating, so. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. Um, so ease of use, obviously, you're going to use it in your cleansing stage. You can use this as a first step cleanser, a second step cleanser. I've used this as a morning cleanser as well. Um, it does it gets a nice lather. I did it in my skincare routine that I released a couple days ago, my morning skincare routine. Um, rinses pretty pretty easily. Does a good job removing most uh, makeup even and a lot of sunscreen it pretty does a pretty darn good job um, as a do-it-all cleanser or as a second step cleanser so you can do it either way it does a good job as like a basic one-step cleanser too okay beneficial ingredients in this one so we've got mugwort extract obviously we've got the mugwort oil i mentioned we've also have mugwort extract which has skin conditioning properties We've got neem leaf extract, which is skin conditioning ingredient. We've got neem extract, uh, skin conditioning ingredient. Holy basil extract, another skin conditioning ingredient. We've got turmeric extract, which is great antioxidant. Turmeric is great for soothing and brightening the skin up. We've got cocoa extract, which is another skin conditioning ingredient. And then finally, we've got an algae extract, which is skin protecting and skin conditioning properties. So uh, a nice, decent list of ingredients. I mean, it's mostly going down the sink anyway, but throwing some good things in there that I can get excited about and I can get excited about it. So, um, okay. In terms of animal testing, this is cruelty free. So no issues with that. So for performance of this one, it's a decent cleanser. I will say using it twice a day for me was too much. My skin started to feel dry and stripped, uh, using it twice a day or even just using it several days in a row. Um, using this a few times a week, it seemed to work well, but after rinsing it off, uh, not every time, but a lot of times my skin ended up having that squeaky clean feeling, which is not good. It means your skin has been stripped. Uh, and that is probably because of the, uh, surfactant they used in here, which let's see, the surfactant that sodium C1416 oleine sulfonate. It's a drying surfactant. It's considered pretty harsh. Uh, it gives things a nice lather, but it can be very harsh and it's pretty high at the ingredient list for this one. I think probably that combined with the mugwort oil, it can be way too harsh for a lot of skin types. So um, keep that in mind. So if you have very sensitive skin or very dry skin, 
um, that can be an issue. So for, for daily use, uh, not going to be a must have. I'll probably, to be 100% honest, I'm probably going to finish using this on my body because my face uh, just gets too dry using this, especially going into fall and winter now. It's going to be too dry. It's very friendly for acne prone skin though. There's no ingredients of note. Be careful with this around your eye area because it did make my eyes a little watery. Uh, so just be careful with that, especially if you're using eye makeup that you're trying to get off with this. Just don't go over, over to the top with it. Um, okay, in terms of the price, uh, so this is a full size 5.3 ounces, 150 milliliters, and it retails for about $18. Uh, and in terms of the it factor, I didn't love this one. I, it's not, it's not the worst cleanser I've ever used, but it is not quite as gentle as I was expecting it to be, especially when you combined that surfactant in here with the with the mugwort oil. Uh, it just wasn't as gentle gentle as I wanted to be. So I think it's probably a very iffy cleanser for dry and sensitive skin types. Uh, maybe perhaps more um, oilier skin types might not as, not notice it being as harsh, but maybe it will strip your skin and make it more oily. I don't know. But anyway, I find this to be just an iffy cleanser overall to recommend to most people. I think it's just, there's just better gentle cleansers out there than this one, although it might work well for some people. So, um, okay, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a seven. It's nothing to write home about. It's not the worst I've tried this year, but uh, there's still a lot other ones that are just much more gentle and friendly and even more affordable. So there we go. Kind of a bummer, but it's what we got to work with. So anyway, uh, I'm interested from you guys, if any of you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.